Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Amalgamash, and this is the game with no title text on its screen. Why did I not do that? This is Smile Slumber Story, a game made in SGB by Amalgamash, submitted to Amalgamash's Summer 2021 Game Jam. Oh, you did this one. I did this one. Nice SpongeBob font. Yeah, it's called Sometime Later. Welcome to Smile Slumber Story. This is a small environment that was created for Amalgamash's Smile Game Builder Summer 2021. I already said that. <laughs> this little production was made in SGB. It was made to celebrate the community by guest starring characters from games that were also made in SGB. Explore the mansion, talk to NPCs, and check everything. So, yeah, and there might even be hidden friendship points attribute. This is just kind of a really quick go over to show off my finished product because I won't be adding on to this anymore. And I did two development videos on it. So I'm so happy everyone got my slumber party invites. It'll make moving into this new place feel more like home. I'll have to check on everyone, and I can also check out the house to see what the movers have brought in so far. Oh, look, it's Sap. Yeah, it's but all of the, <laughs> it, it's, it's all guest characters from um, notable SGB game creators. There's Aqua from Patchworks Stuff. That's Rhea from a game called Memories 3D, which is a remake of Memories by Dale Dog. Memories was made in RPG Maker, but Memories 3D was made in Smile Game Builder. And he is currently working on an update to that game. This is Anna. She is in Barbaris, made by Mito Senshi Studios. What's that and picture? that's Dr. Sap. Made by Amalgamag, stupid step doctor, 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 ma'am, doctor, <laughs> doctor. She's being a butt <laughs> on purpose. That's Doctor Sap for you. By Amalgamash Studios, sure. <laughs> we have a studio. Come here, come here. Wait. Why don't you just go talk to her? She... I'm too shy. She's so <laughs> hot. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what this picture is. It comes with the engine. Oh, I thought maybe that was a reference. I th something. think. Actually, I, it might come with the G style, but I don't remember. So many of these assets I've thrown in here and I don't remember. Oh, oh. Man. Listen, you snarky. Talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? Okay, I'm Dr. Sap Green. Hi, Sap. Nice to meet you. Now, talk to her again. Ah, human. You are strange kind. So, they'll all ask you questions, and after you int you've introduced yourselves, and then one of these choices will give you a friendship point, which I don't show the player. One of them will not give you a friendship point or deduct one, I can't remember. And the pretend not to hear, it's not nice, but it'll just cancel, so nothing happens. But uh, with her, you got a comment back, you're a weird spectra, and she likes that answer. So you'll get a friendship point with her if you say that. To an alien, I bet it seems we do all kinds of funky things. Sap nods, smirking. Heh, <laughs> you got spunk, kid. Whatever that means. And that, unfortunately, is all she says. But if you want to get another friendship point with her, you can do it again. And it's necessary to get, like, three with everybody to get all of the dialogue. Because when you go check on all the stuff in this room, your character will remark on it. And then the other characters will pitch in depending on their friendship points, and they'll have more to say about it. So we talked to Rhea. Oh, I'm Rhea. Thanks for inviting me. You're really short. I like your place. It's nice to meet you, Rhea. We're going to have fun. I'm looking forward to the party. Everyone's so unique. I think so, too. Yeah, being unique is awesome. Rhea relaxes her guard. Yeah. If there's anything you need, let me know. Um, I thought someone doesn't fit in was uh, a thing you could... Everybody else is a lot taller. <laughs> oh. But I guess you could, you could say that they're talking about just about anybody. And there's Aqua. I'm Aqua. I'm a catkin. Nice to meet you. Would you like to pet me? You say yes. Why not? You're a cat after all. Pet Aqua and she rumbles softly. 
And you do it over and over again. Because that's not, you know... Creepy at all. Boundary breaking or anything. <laughs> Here's Anna. She's got her own art. Oh, um, lovely art. And this is Hams. Uh, Hams is her sidekick that adventures with her and does bounty hunts and stuff. But he's... <laughs> gonna say it would have been funny for Crossman's new games. Uh, that would have been pretty fun. His name is actually Hans, though. Oh. She just makes fun of him, and then like she realizes, oh, that's right, he couldn't come because he's a boy. Betty would have loved to be here, though. Ha! And she's always ribbing him, so I figured that would be its appropriate dialogue. Well, it's nice to meet you. <sighs> Kidding. Uh, go here. It's my window. I used to look out of it all the time. <laughs> yes. Wait, it's opaque. Where's the transparency? Uh, eh. No, I know I put something over here. It's my study desk. I've done so much homework here, and the chair hurts my butt. But I finished school. I owe it all to this desk. I should donate it to the scrapyard. Oh. Boonk. It's my PC. I use it to watch videos. Rhea spoke up. Okay, so I have enough friendship points with Rhea for her to sp speak up. Otherwise, it would have ended there. I've been awaiting more development on Memories 3D. Aqua Meow, make sure you subscribe to Patchwork. I can't keep up with his non-stop game making. Meow. I can't stand watching people build or experience anything with their low-level intellects, but Thalo sometimes watches Amalgamash. Anna, I didn't get... Oh, I didn't get more. So she asks you if you like treasure hunting, and you're supposed to say yes. Like, like, Laura... Craft? Craft? Craft. <laughs> She's the coolest. I want to be like her. Anna sticks out her tongue at Hans, as if to say, ha, told you, then realizes he isn't there awkward and we'll do that a couple more times i think three was the maximum so let's see if i i didn't put a thing for barbarus on that tv we might see what's on tv later we might even be able to catch something by kumachan multimedia maybe catch a rerun of omar the brave the ending was too touching i hope i didn't miss the finale to june the negotiator i know how it ends if you spoil it i'll feed you to the <laughs> cellar rats wait the episode hasn't aired yet what do you mean you know how it ends i read the book or, well, Hans read the book and wouldn't shut up about the ending. What a nerd. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's a massive bed. It's a perfect bed for a, a, a teenager girl? A girl who a wants the big bed. Bear, <laughs> dresser, futon, so everybody will have a nice sleep. Iron Will by Pompom Games is on the shelf. This game was too hard for me. Rhea nodded in agreement. I, too, tried to conquer the dungeon and failed. Aqua meow. Iron Will... That one was easy. It only took two bites. It's easy enough. Just open the project and change your health variable to 99. That's cheating! And I didn't give that one any collision, so happy colliding. Let's get out of here. Oh. I have a bathroom right here, but for some reason I decided to put a wall there instead of a door. Don't know why. How did you get the... okay, a wall. This is, this is some modular dungeon pieces from uh, Jacob. They're not, you know, meant to look good. They're just meant to be thrown in here. Because of the movers, you know. Oh. Now what? How, how did... Uh, since I don't know much about the game building process, how did you get the doors to work properly? Oh, they, are, they have animations attached to them. So they're objects, and you just throw them down wherever, and then when, the you... Wall, when you put the door in, the top of the wall disappears. Let's see. Are they placed in front of the wall? Oh, they are. They are placed in front of the wall. That's why when they're open, it's just wall. Oh. It's a separate object. Mm -hmm. And there's no hole in the wall to indicate that there's a passageway there. Okay, forget My gamers. lovely tall ceilings. And there's nothing attached to that stuff. Let's go in here. Each one of these boxes has got references to all kinds of games. And, uh... If you made an SGB game, it's probably in here. So these are the games that you'd have to buy. All kinds of stuff that's on Steam right now. Games by Drassray in particular. Who, uh... Yeah, I can't wait to save up enough to buy Alterium Shift, which he worked on with Motsi. Definitely an S-lister. That one's out right now, a demo of it. Of my collection of patchwork games. Um, what do we got here? My Box of Adventure Field 3D Remake games. Here's Project Night. All these games were made by Wadadu. They're Shadow Fear. A Mixed Box. Planet Spectrum. Run. It's Chicken. Blight Dream. It's one of my favorites ever. I am going to do a video on my favorite SGB games. That's going to be on there, though, for sure. Tapestry of the Month Before. A Change in Me. 
the Elite Adventure. Wolf demos and games. So there's references to companion wolf stuff. And then I'll go in there in a little bit. We'll go out to the front yard. Now. The movers also brought people? I have a sign, a selection of main characters from various games. Did the movers just drop a bunch of random people in my yard? Somebody, ten, I think ten guys said, cracked them up to see a bunch of random people out in the backyard. Um, <gasps> it's a cat. It's a rat. Oh, well, he's adorable. He is. He's awesome. He's one of my favorite models ever. Um, so, uh, these are just models you can pick up from DLC or what have you. But you're supposed to look at them and think, oh, there's the king from King and I. There's one of the monsters from Monarch of Greed. There's the, the, the guy from Corpse Party, sure. There's the orc from Iron Will. There's a mandrake from one of the Adventure Field games. There's the rat from uh, A Tale of Monsters. I actually don't know what that model right there holding the book is from. I have no idea. And that girl in the back is the model used for a blight dream. Mm. Although it, it's just a model that comes with the, the G-style stuff, which is right here. G-style stuff. Here's Jackson assets. I use and plant spectrum. Mimicry got his own section. With the world pack. Yeah, it's charming. It's an overworld pack. I would say it looked like overworld because it's so small. Nice tiny. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I guess I, I was copying and pasting stuff and for, just left a piece of fence there like a, a dork. Look at this lovely fence asset. <laughs> fence asset. So nice. So then you go in here and forever, anybody who didn't play all the way through, there's nothing anywhere else except there is a backyard. Did you submit an unfinished game? Well, yeah. To your own jam? Which you can do. According to jam rules, there's some Asian assets back here. There's a pond, there's some trees. And then, if you go into the house and go into the cellar, which I meant, I swear I meant to make the stairs that went down, so it's not really a cellar now. There's a PC. And if you go to the PC, you can play Abandoned Village. Whoa. And this is, this was going to be my, damn it, the music keeps playing. I meant to shut that off. This was supposed to be creepy. This was supposed to give you feelings of dread. You didn't make the grass darker like I suggested. No, Ban Village is a teaser story that has to do with a book that uh, I wrote. And... These notes are left by the matriarch of this region, who is a complete tyrant. And she doesn't show up until much later in the story, but her name is Tessa. She's the Arcona. Uh, she's dirty, dirty, dirty. And that's how she keeps people in line. And the pages get a, a bit more graphic with the kinds of stuff that she has to do to stay in power and what she ends up doing to secure her own rule, including make sure that none of her kids gets it. So the music just kind of, I don't know if it's juxtaposition, but it don't help the spooky feeling. And then I'm not sure what happened here. These boxes are not supposed to be floating. That's for sure. Uh, but the machete here, I thought would be a nice touch. And then the last note, but you know, I'll leave that for whoever else wants to discover it. And if it interests them in the book, then that's cool too. Is that your one character's mom? Tessa's um, pig's mom. Oh, yes. Okay. The Arcona, as I call her, of, of Lacey Vale. Just a horrible person. Um, but that's it. Black Sky, Abandoned Village, <laughs> RPG Maker Times assets that I was allowed to preview. I don't think I asked if I could put them in this. Sorry, RPG Maker Times. I actually didn't mean to keep those in there. I was testing them. Oh well, that's it. That's the game for now. Maybe in the future I'd love, love, love to make a whole game based on that book. Just front and back, all kinds of references, side stories, and all that junk. Brought to you by Amalgamesh Studios. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Brought to you by Amalgamesh Studios. Thank you for watching. Leave comments of any kind you want. 
in the description below. The, 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 the trees, assets clashing, it's all good. It wasn't, none of this was intended to be super serious. It was just meant to be noted and nodded and, oh, ha, huh, I get it. Ha, <laughs> I get that reference. And then you close the game and that's it. So, yeah, I wasn't even going to make a video about this game in particular, but then I thought, well... What if somebody out there didn't actually find all the stuff? Plus, it's easy content. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.